This video is designed to talk you through the formation of the three basic rock types. They are igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are rocks which are formed as magma cools and hardens. The two examples of igneous rocks are basalt and granite. We'll look um, at more information regarding those two rocks in a little second. Second uh, rock type is sedimentary, and these are rocks which are formed in layers under the sea. Two examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone and sandstone. Third and final groups of rocks are metamorphic rocks, and these are sedimentary or igneous rocks which have been changed by heat or pressure. Two best examples of these two types of rock, or of this rock type, are marble and slate. If we come across and have a look at this picture, um, this is quite clearly an igneous rock. You may recognize it as the Giant's Causeway. Um, the magma has made its way above the surface. Um, when magma makes its way above the surface, it's called an extrusive rock. That basically means it's made its way above the, the Earth's surface. And this uh, allows the lava to cool very quickly, either through contact with the air or through contact with water. And this makes small crystals. So it has cooled quickly, making small crystals. Uh, and this is an example of basalt, which is well known in Northern Ireland. The second rock type that we're going to look at, again this is an igneous rock type, this one's called granite. Um, you can see granite in this picture here. We do get different types of granite, so it won't always be this specific colour, um, but it has these characteristics. Granite uh, is formed when magma cools underground. If it cools underground, it's called intrusive, which is the opposite to extrusive. Because it's cooling underground, this means that it cools slowly. And this means that it gives us large crystals. Okay, So granite, intrusive and slowly. Again, another igneous uh, rock type. To come down to have a think about some of the sedimentary rock types that we see. This is limestone, or one word, limestone. Small particles of rock or dead plants and animals are deposited under the sea and this sediment uh, builds up in layers. They get compressed by the weight of the water above and the weight of additional layers and this turns it back uh, into rock and this is allowed limestone to form. Limestone typically is a softer rock and quite often we will find fossils contained within this limestone rock. Another example of a sedimentary rock is sandstone which can be seen in this picture here. It's got this typical sandy colour. You can see the layers um, have been built up on the seabed and again it's compressed by the weight of the water and other sediment uh, to make sandstone, again a very soft rock which would typically crumble in your hands. If we come across to this picture we might uh, recognise this as a fairly common rock type. Um, this is marble and marble is a metamorphic rock and this originally was a different type of rock which has been changed uh, under pressure. Uh, marble originally was limestone uh, so under pressure, uh, limestone turns into this marble, a much harder rock uh, used for a variety of uh, uses such as worktops and kitchens. Another metamorphic rock uh, in this example is slate, commonly used on the roofs of houses and this is mudstone which is changed by heat uh, to form slate, so again another metamorphic uh, 